Hey guys, Game Prime here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Pokemon Harkoal. Last time, we got done with the Union Cave, went and kind of looked at the Runes of Alf, beat Faulkner, the gym leader, and got a mystery egg from Professor Elm. Not in that order, of course, because I was just reading off my list I have. This time, we are going to be progressing onto Azalea Town. And, uh, got some apricorns over here. Black apricorn. I've been recording for a while now. Pink apricorn. You trainer? No? Okay. I think this guy's a trainer. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention that Croconaw is now in our party. Totodile evolved last time. Okay, now that we're done with uh, Bray Wyatt over here. We are going to head to Azalea Town, but I gotta do something, so I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. So this is Azalea Town. Who are you? You don't know us? We are Team Rocket. What? We broke up a while ago? Give me a break. We have not broken up. Actually, we did once, but we have come back to pursue Giovanni's ambition. Enough talking. Shut up and just beat it. Alright. Nothing is going on. It's unsafe to go in there, so I'm standing guard to make sure people don't wander in. Am I not a good Samaritan? Not now, Anthony. Slowpoke has disappeared from this town. Tails are being sold somewhere. Before progressing, let's go heal ourselves. Okay, so now that that's done, we're gonna go to this house right here. <clears throat> Who are you? Nick, eh? You want me to make some balls? Sorry, but that'll have to wait. Do you know Team Rocket? Nah, don't worry, I'll tell you anyhow. Team Rocket's an evil gang that uses Pokemon for their dirty work. They're supposed to have disbanded three years ago. Anyway, they're at the well, cutting off Slowpoke tails for sale. So I'm going to give them a lesson in pain. Hang on, Slowpoke! Old Kurt is on his way! Grandpa's gone. I'm so lonely. He, he just left, man. Got an apricorn over here. I believe that's a blue or a pink one. I don't know. I'm colored one. Oh, white. Of course. Alright, so let's go see what, uh... That was all about. See that Team Rocket guy is gone. This is Slowpoke Well, though. Hey there, Nick. The car up top took off when I shouted at him, but then I took a tumble down the well. I slammed down hard on my back, so I can't move. Rats, if I were fit, my Pokemon would have punished him. Oh, I can't be helped. Nick, show them how gutsy you are in my place. Alright, thanks for putting us in that position. Ever. I was standing guard up top when some old coot yelled at me. He startled me so much that I felt down here. How about I vent my anger and take it out on you? Man, I can't read tonight, though it is three in the morning. Challenged by Team Rocket Grunt. Let's go 
guys are no problem. That was easy. Team Rocket Grunt is done. Oh, and there's a encounter in the well. Okay, first we have a super potion. And another Team Rocket Grunt. I didn't even read that. Sorry. <laughs> it's getting late. I'm getting tired. But these battles are pretty straightforward, so I'm going to be cutting these. But, uh... I'll let you know when something good happens. Alright. To the left, man. Quit taking slow poke tails? If we listen to you, Team Rocket's rep would be ruined. Croconaw grew to level 20 already. Okay, so we're done with that guy. Slowpoke with its tail cut off. As mail, read it. Begin to look after the house with Grandpa and Slowpoke. Love, Dad. Proton. What do we have here? I'm often labeled as the scariest and cruel sky in Team Rocket. I strongly urge you not to interfere with our business. So, this guy is Proton, he is a Team Rocket executive, this is a battle I will be showing in full. So, yeah, just like everything else, pretty simple stuff. So, I think I'm gonna throw Rocky in there just for the hell of it. Rocky might be able to do something to the coffin. Who knows? It doesn't matter where we are. There's always someone who doesn't agree with us. So that lowers our accuracy. Okay. And that's not good. If you guys have psychic types, this will be a breeze for you. Things done. Rocky grows to level 11. And we defeat Proton. For a kid to be this good, I didn't see it coming. Team Rocket was indeed broken up three years ago, but we continued our activities underground. Small obstacle like you won't be much of a problem for our mission. I advise you to be very afraid of what is to come. Way to go, Nick! Team Rocket has taken off. My back's better too. Let's get out of here. Hey Nick, you handled yourself like a real hero. As I mentioned before, Team Rocket was disbanded by a boy called Red three years ago. Now that they have come back, I have a bad feeling about it. In any case, it would be it would please me greatly to make Pokeballs for a trainer like you, Nick. This is all I have for now, but take it. We obtain the fastball. You have apricorns for me? Fine, I'll turn them into Pokeballs. Uh, 
Okay. I guess. Yeah, Apricorns can turn into uh, Pokeballs. And we'll get his number. One of the more important people to have numbers for. So, yeah. I'm gonna go heal up my Pokemon and I'll be right back. Alright, guys. So, I think we're actually going to take on the gym. But we have a rival battle first. Tell me something. Is it true that Team Rocket has returned? What? You beat them? <laughs> Quit lying. Are you serious? Let's see how good you are. So our second battle with Silver... 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 Sounds out ghastly. This might not do a lot. Or it will do a lot. Silver has evolved his Shikarita in a bay leaf. No water gun won't do a lot, but I always like to vary my moves. Synthesis. You son of a bitch. Okay, we're going to turn this over to Rocky. He might not be able to do much. This might hurt. Okay. Not good. Okay. Oh no. Holy moly. That's a quick save. And that's it for Bayleaf. Get the level 21. Ice Fang is amazing as well. So Ice Fang is... has a power of 65, while Bite has a power of 60. Um, I think we're going to get rid of... Rage, because Ice Fang's probably one of the moves we are going to keep on crocking off forever. Say, you've got a lot of nerve coming here. Let's use Ice Fang out. Let's really bite with a little bit more Moxie. With that? We nearly died beating our rival Silver. I hate the weak Pokemon trainers. It doesn't matter 
who or what. I hate to see them hanging around. That goes for Team Rocket too. They think they are big and tough as long as they are in a group, but they but get them alone and they're weak. I hate them all. You stay out of my way. You won't be an exception if you get in my way. All right, whatever, dude. We just beat you. So whenever your Pokemon is poisoned, that will happen on screen. I remember the first time that happened to me. I thought my game was freaking glitched or whatever. Scary stuff when you don't know your Pokemon. <laughs> but I say we, uh... I don't know if I want to end the episode or if I want to tackle the gym. Um... Let's... Let's do the damn gym. Why the hell not? Okay? Might be a sign of things. Let's do it anyway. Yo, Challenger, Bugsy made this gym. It's a huge nest of bug-type Pokemon. Bugsy's young, but he's a master of bug-type Pokemon. It's going to be tough without my advice. Let's see. Bug-type Pokemon don't like fire. Flying-type moves are super effective, too. So, of course... Ugh, I hate this freaking gym. Okay, give me one minute so I can figure out how to do this. So there's four trainers here. Um, I think most of these will take you to the to this guy. Come all this way crossing the web like a bug Pokemon. Okay, so I'll just, you know, skip this, of course. Okay, so if we take this one, let's see. Bring us to the middle. If we take this one, it'll bring us to the left. There's no trainer to the left. Bug Pokemon evolve young, so they get stronger that much faster. Rocky grows to level 12. Rocky grows to level 13. Okay, so what does this switch do? Oh, it turns that thing on and off. So if we turn that on and off, we'll go there. We want to get to the middle. We also want to face everybody, so we'll do that. You saved all the slowpoke. You're mighty. But my grown-up Pokemon are pretty tough, too. Okay, we got paralyzed by someone there. Turn this back on. Leads us to some twins. Hey, are you challenging the leader? No way. If you insist, we'll be your opponents. Okay, so this is a double battle. I don't know if I've went over these before, but it's uh, kind of like a tag team. 2-1-2. Two, two, but you'll choose for your first first Pokemon, and then your second. So, Ice Fang on Ladaba, and Rock Throw on Spinarak. Spinarak. Both Pokemon I have catched in Pokemon Go the past few days. Okay. 
And finally, we don't reach Faulkner. We reach, uh, or I said Faulkner. Whoops, Bugsy. Turn that switch off. And here we are, Bugsy. I'm Bugsy. I never lose when it comes to bug type Pokemon. My research is going to make me the authority on bug type Pokemon. Let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies about bug type Pokemon. <laughs> and we finally get to go against Bugsy. Scyther. Oh, shoot. So we're going to use Ice Fang. Oh! What did that do? I don't care. Whoever you put out is gonna get ice fanged. We're making good progress though. Possibly two badges within two videos. Croconaut gets to level 22. Now uh, let's give Rocky a little action. Might not be able to do much, but I don't know. I think Rocky's lo looking to be a pretty decent party member. Ooh, and that was really good. Uh, he must have had a berry on him. Even though our defense is lowering. Okay. That's not a good sign. Oh, and neither is that. Holy crap. Bet we're gonna get U-turn after this. Okay. Poison Sting, really? That's just great. So, Rock Fire or Flying type Pokemon will definitely uh, help you out in this gym battle. So Scyther's the only one left. Even though it's my last Pokemon, bug Pokemon are tough. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Okay. Okay. I'm going to use a potion. I don't need that to happen right now. Uh, let's see. Crap! And that's it. Hang in there just a little more. No! N what? No freaking way! No freaking way! No freaking way! That was unbelievable! Unbelievable! You want to play that way, Bugsy? We're gonna play that way. Also, if you guys just hear a lot of tapping, it's because I'm using a stylus on my 3DS, which is right in front of the mic. Take that, Scyther. You are dead. I have two badges now! Your Bugsy is defeated! Oh, amazing. You're an expert on Pokemon. My research isn't complete yet. Okay, you win. Take this badge. 
We received the hive badge from Bugsy. As you can see to the right, it is now updated. Do you know the benefits of the hive badge? If you have it, Pokemon up to level 30 will obey you, even traded ones. Pokemon that no cut will be able to use it outside of battle too. Here, I also want you to have this. We got TM89 and it is probably U-turn because she used it a lot. Yep. Okay. So we get out of here. Which is going to take me a minute because it usually always does. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Well done, that was a great clash of talented young trainers. With people like you, the future of Pokemon is bright. Alright, so what my future holds, I don't know. And I'm not talking to Ralph either. So... I believe... That is going to be it for me this time, guys. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more in the future. This has been interesting so far. I can't believe we're already this kind of far in the game already because I recorded from episode 2 to this tonight which should be episode 4. So yeah, hope you guys liked it. Uh, please leave your uh, feedback down in the comments below. I really want to make this Let's Play something that I could look back on and be like, wow, my first 3DS Let's Play, or DS Let's Play, turned out pretty good for what it was. Alright guys, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.